Yo, what is up guys, Sergio Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, a new ladder episode. I just made a poll on Twitter with three options. First option was 12 win grand challenge deck video. Second option was top ladder replays because I just hit 6.7k on this account and right now I'm number one in the world. And then third option was suggestions that you guys could leave suggestions. And the ladder uh, like option like won by far 80% voted on the ladder like top ladder replays. Then 15% on the grand challenge like deck video, 12 win deck video. And then 5% of the comments like had suggestions in the comments. So I think it's pretty clear that ladder like really um, is really popular at the moment. And last episode, two days ago, also has over 300k views. So thank you guys so much for your support. And I'm really excited because the season is about to end. There's just 19 hours and 44 minutes left. And right now I'm number one. I'm doing really well with a balloon cycle deck. And I will show you guys like some replays, three replays. Um, live ladder gameplay, in my opinion, it's too risky. Mid-season, I wouldn't mind, but I don't want to risk like tilting, especially right now, last day, like near the end of the season. It's going crazy, guys. So many people are playing, so many people are trying to snipe and stuff like this. So I definitely want to, um, yeah, be calm and focus and stuff like this, and then show you guys the replay, like, um, trying to play as well as possible and then still show you guys the gameplay so it is with this deck i already made a video on this deck before so maybe you guys already know this deck maybe you guys have already seen this deck like me playing this deck actually in the last episode i also shared one replay with this deck i'm trying to switch around with mega knight zepate and this deck but recently i've been using this deck and in today's episode i'll have three replays with this balloon cycle deck i will start off with mega knight zepate i actually have two replays against mega knight zepate and then this one uh, against hawk rider triple spell uh, which is actually counter to mega knight zepate just because it's so popular so i also um drew against here like a uh, expo like tornado with mega me and a rocket and then here um i also beat lava miner with loon that was an interesting matchup but quite easy because i have the executioner i have tornado i spirit zap and we had quite a like uh, good offense and then good defense but i will start off with this episode so 19 trophies so mega knight zepate mega knight zepate right now is so popular and this deck is actually doing quite well like quite consistent against mega knight zepate and you guys can see that like right now I'm number one in the world and I beat this matchup quite often So I will start off with the ice spirit at the bridge as always like when I start off with the ice spirit in my starting hand I will start off with it So he goes with spirit goblins I will go with skeletons just to make sure we don't take any chip damage Then I will actually send in the miner I will put it at the spot where if he has a tornado he can tornado it Basically I already knew that he didn't have a tornado because he showed spirit goblins But you never know there are also like sometimes some crazy decks with for example spirit goblins mortar and like tornado Like you never know but at this moment, I was 100% sure that it's a Mega Knight Zepay deck. And he actually uses his Inferno Dragon. So here I will go with Knight and I will go with Balloon in the other lane. And I think it's a good play. I will also Zep. But if you look at the Elixir, I have no Elixir right now. He has 6 Elixir and he's actually really smart. He will go in the other lane with Miner and Goblin Gang. And look at my Elixir, guys. I will go with Skeletons for DPS. I will go with a Tornado and I will try to uh, counter it with Ice Spirit. But he actually Zeps my Skeletons. So really well played on his part. We do deal quite a lot of damage to his right side tower down to 957. But our left side tower does go down, so a really rough start. And he's still up in Elixir, just a little bit, but he is up in Elixir. So a really rough start, but I know that we can still do it because he's actually... Um, he can't really defend the balloon that well. So he will actually go with a skeleton barrel in the back, I believe. And I will go with my knight in the back. Let's see. Um, yeah, there I go. He will go with a skeleton barrel in the back. I think I will go with my knight. No, I will actually go with my executioner. And then I think I will go with my knight in the back. I know that I can't really push in the other lane. Because let's say I will go with a balloon inferno dragon. Or a balloon miner. He will have his inferno dragon ready for the balloon. But he actually uses his inferno dragon over here. So I will go with knight in the back. I believe the executioner will kill the uh, skeleton barrel. It will take some damage. So here I will drop some skeletons for distraction. Of course, I don't want the inferno dragon to kill our executioner. I will zap his spear goblins and hit the tower. He will actually stand in a defensive minor. I think that's uh, to cycle. He will try to like focus on defense, knowing that I don't have a big spell. But we actually have a balloon over here. So he decides to go with his um with his Mega Knight. He has bets on defense, but the balloon still does kill the tower. So this is a really difficult uh, like defense, guys. He has Mega Knight, he has spear goblins, he has bets. He also throws like a skeleton barrel. I'll go with a zap, I'll go with the executioner, and executioner, like the X, will actually also hit most of the skeletons. So really good defense so far, but he does send in the miner as well. He has some spear goblins chipping away. And he's leading with damage right now, guys. He's keeping up a like a lot of pressure. And he's leading with Elixir right now. He's almost full Elixir. And we are at 7 Elixir. So he's full. He leaked a little bit. But he will go with bats in that lane. I will send in Miner. I will also Zap. And there's his uh, Mega Knight again. I think I will go with Executioner in this lane. Let's see. Um, yeah, I will go with Executioner to the side, to the right side, knowing that he could place troops in the middle. I will actually go with Ice Spirit in the middle. Let's say he would have gone with... Uh, there you go, there's his Skeleton Barrel, actually. Here I will have a perfect Zap hitting his Spear Goblins and hitting his Skeleton spawning from the barrel. 
He will actually send in a miner to Executioner, but we cycle to Executioner. This deck cycles so insanely quick, guys. So the Executioner will finish off his push, and we barely took any damage there. So perfect defense so far, but we do need to go on offense. So he will cycle bets again in the back. He will go with the Inferno Dragon. But I actually noticed that the Inferno Dragon will go to the other lane because of the Executioner there. So here I will actually send in a Balloon and a Miner. And I will have my Zap ready knowing that he has uh, bets. So I didn't Zap his Spear Goblins yet. I'm waiting for his bets. There are his bets. There, there you go. I will Zap over here. The Balloon is actually quite healthy. It will get one hit and surprisingly with just one hp it will actually get the second hit and he says wow i say good game thumbs up and wow that balloon was definitely like the mvp of the match actually getting two hits at the end and that took us the win so definitely good game to this guy and let's go into the second replay guys so the second replay is also actually um Mega Knight Zepet. And as I said, Mega Knight Zepet is so popular right now. You also see decks just to counter this deck. Like the last or the last replay in this episode will be a, versus a Hawk Rider, um, Inferno Dragon Triples. And that deck just like basically got popular because of the um, like the Mega Knight Zepet deck. So he started with a Skeleton Barrel at the bridge. And right away, like I know this is Mega Knight Zepet. I'll actually go with a Knight and I will go with uh, Executioner. Also Skeletons. Skeletons maybe weren't needed. But he goes with this Mega Knight. He also, um, I think he will go with Inferno Dragon. So here I would just want to make sure I will keep my Executioner alive. So he will actually go with Inferno Dragon. I will go with the Ice Spirit over here. And I believe I will Tornado. And I cycle to my Knight. Yeah, there you go. I will go with a Knight to the side. He will actually go with Miner and Bats in the other lane. I will go with a Zep for his Bats. And I will go with Skeletons on his Miner. Just to make sure we don't take too much ship damage. Because his deck is like just basically about pressuring and chipping away. So the Executioner is still alive. He will actually uh, use his Skeleton Barrel. And if you look at the Elixir right now. We're leading with Elixir. I will just drop an Ice Spirit. I think I could have even like taken the damage on the left side. But I just dropped that one Elixir. Just to make sure we won't take any damage. Um, so here, like right now, we're leading a little bit with Elixir. I think we're about two Elixir ahead, uh, just a little bit less, actually. So I will go with Execution in the back, guys, in this lane, um, because he will probably attack in the right side lane. But this way, I can just take some damage, and I will actually go offensive. So he will go with Spear Goblins. I will allow him to chip away a little bit, knowing that with one good push, I will actually deal a lot of damage. So here, I will go with my Knight. I will go with my Balloon. And I know that it's really hard for him to stop my push, especially because I have Zap. So here, I will actually Zap his Inferno Dragon. I will Zap his Spear Goblin and his Tower. So Balloon gets one hit and it will actually get a second hit so that's so much damage there knight will actually get one hit as well and the execution is still alive so i think the execution will even get one more hit there you go execution gets one more hit so the tower is down to 237 i don't really have a big spell in this deck but i uh, i know that i can just chip away for example sending ice spirit for example sending um a miner so he actually goes with a skeleton barrel. I'll go with my skeletons and I'll go with an execution. The skeletons weren't really needed, but I did that um, thinking that he would minor, but he didn't even have it in cycle. So he is actually going really hard on defense. He's dropping and his spear goblins and his uh, goblin gang on defense. So the miner won't get any chip damage, but the zap does like take it down to 156. So I know that two more zaps will be enough. Here you will actually have a really big push, guys. But look at the defense. This is really key. I drop skeletons to distract this Inferno Dragon. Then I will tornado, I spirit everything together. And I will zap it. And this defense was just, um, in my opinion, OP. He does predict the miner. So really well played on his part. And the miner, again, doesn't get a hit. So I will go with skeletons. I believe I'll go with executioner into this. Because I saw him dropping. There you go. I saw him dropping his Inferno Dragon into this lane. So I will actually go with executioner into that lane. And I believe he will attack here. Uh, he will go with bats in the back and I think Mega Knight at the bridge. There you go. Mega Knight is at the bridge. But I know that two more zaps will do it. And just because it's like deck cycle so quick, I'll actually go with a zap already. Down to 75. I will go with, uh, I think, skeletons. I think I will go with... Yeah, skeletons. Then I will zap. Or actually, I will first drop a knight to uh, like tank for that. Then I will zap, and that was good game and thumbs up. So that was the second replay again for his mega knight zap bait, and that just shows like uh, that just shows how solid this deck is. Like the defense, did you guys see that? Like distracting the inferno dragon with skeletons, then clumping everything, like pulling everything together with the tornado, then freezing it with the ice spirit when like uh, once everything is together, and then with the executioner splash damage and the zap, we just took it out without any problem. And then this last matchup, I was actually number two here. Uh, Dark Light like was actually above me, and I was searching. I didn't expect to face this guy. He was actually number three at this moment, so I didn't expect to face this guy. He's also from Sandstorm, but the Chinese one, the Asian one. So I was actually searching, and I matched this guy. And in this matchup, I actually have the better matchup because he just has the Inferno Dragon for my um, balloon, and I have Tornado for his Hawk Rider, so he's giving good luck. I will give him the good luck and I will have a miner. I will send in the miner always to the safe spot because you never know. Let's say I'm playing a mirror matchup and he uses like the tornado on the miner. Miner is really key to chip away. 
So I think I was sending the miner. Yeah, there you go. I was sending the miner to the side. Let's see what he does. He uh, actually goes with the ice golem, but he didn't predict the miner. So we do get a little bit of chip damage, but he actually used his ice spirit as well to freeze it and then retarget it onto the ice golem. Here I make a little mistake. I tried to freeze the hawk rider with the ice spirit and then tornado it, but I dropped my ice spirit one second too late. If I dropped it one second earlier, the hawk wouldn't have gotten hit and we did activate the king tower. But I started off with a mistake, but I knew that, um, like right now I knew his deck. So I knew that I had the matchup and he just has the inferno dragon to counter. Of course, he has some spells to damages like Zeb, like Fireball. He also has the Ice Spirit, but that don't that won't really counter the balloon. So I'll actually send in another miner. I'm just basically cycling miners right now and waiting for the perfect moment to attack because I know that balloon can get so much damage, guys. And the Inferno Dragon, once he uses this Inferno Dragon, it's just basically um going either into the opposite lane or first countering the inferno dragon and then uh like attacking afterwards so here i use my ice spirit to cycle then uh, i cycle to tornado i tornado the hawk rider to the middle i also drop skeletons i'm not sure if uh if it was worth it here he will actually go with guards and uh i will zap them i will zap the guards and they will actually allow them to die because of the executioner so the miner is chipping away the executioner is still alive the ice golem will go down and he is leading with elixir he will also use the ice spirit and i don't think the executioner will get a hit here it actually does get a hit, so it's down to 2,051 HP, and the right side tower, our right side tower, is down to uh, 3,161. And I can just tornado it to the middle. I think I will drop skeletons just to be sure, because sometimes if you tornado it to the middle, Hawk Rider still sometimes gets a hit. This, uh, so I'm just making sure we won't take any damage. And here he uses his Inferno Dragon, so I know, like, basically his air counter is out of cycle. I will actually go with um, Execution into this lane. I'm not switching lanes over here. I decided to first counter the um, Inferno Dragon. And then attack. He is actually cycling. This deck cycles quite quick. So as you guys can see, his next card is already um, Inferno Dragon. Right now he has a back in hand. But I am going with Balloon. And I'm also going with a Miner to tank. He does predict my Miner. He does predict my Miner with his cards. And the Inferno Dragon is locked on. So I'm waiting a little bit. And then I will zap. And this Balloon will get another hit. And that will actually finish off the tower. So tower goes down on the left side. Executioner will um, like get lots of value over here. Against his Ice Golem. Against his guards. I think the Inferno Dragon. Yeah, it will actually have a really nice fireball. Hitting my um, Executioner. And pushing it back. like Or pushing it forwards, I mean. Into his guards. So his guards do take out my um, Executioner over there. I will cycle to a new executioner with tornado. I had skeletons to distract, and I know that there's a good game. So I gave him the good game, gave him the well played, and I gave him the thumbs up. I think here he doesn't really place any card anymore. I will just go with a night balloon in the middle, and I think I will also send in a miner, but I won't do any more damage because the time is actually running out. So just three seconds left, and that will be good game. So definitely well played to this guy, uh, this guy as well. I definitely had the matchup because he just has one air counter. So I'm definitely really excited for the um, like season end. Right now, as I said, it's 19 hours and 32 minutes left and I am number one right now. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on my social media about my, like how I'm doing. I'm um, like definitely uh, more active on Twitter, I would say, like posting some pictures. Also, I did a few pictures on Instagram, but definitely follow my Twitter at Surgical Goblin if you guys want to keep updated. And I will for sure make a video on how I did, like how I finished. And don't worry, guys, if you were the 15, uh, like, percent voting for the 12 in Grand Challenge deck video, I would definitely have that one coming as well. So don't worry. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smack that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you on one of my next videos. Bye, guys.